We begin with new information from East Tennessee, where wildfires have now killed seven people. Local 12's Brandon Orr has been speaking to Red Cross workers there. He joins us live from a shelter for those displaced by the fire in Gatlinburg. Brandon. Hey, Paula, we just got out of a news conference uh, with some officials, and here's the latest information that I just got a moment ago. Fatalities uh, remain at seven. 74 were treated at a local medical center. They are releasing an interactive map. I know a lot of people from Cincinnati are wanting to know if their cabin that they may vacation at, either here in Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge, is okay. They are releasing an interactive map where you can uh, look at an exact address and see if that area has been burned. They are, it's a work in progress. Uh, they are going to add to it in the coming days, but they're expected to get that map out uh, a little bit later on this afternoon. And as soon as they do, we're gonna get that information on local12.com. So you can go on there and uh, look at that and, and see if any property that you're interested in is okay. They are hoping to have the search rescue and operation that's going on right now completed by nightfall tonight. Uh, the total acreage burned is more than 17,000. That has been growing uh, each number that we get. Also, we've been speaking to the Red Cross. This is one of the largest shelters. It's Rocky Top Sports World. This is basically as close as you can get to Gatlinburg. The Red Cross is telling us they are so overwhelmed with donations that what they need, look at all this stuff. There's so much water, which is really great, and they are so appreciative. They are asking to hold donations until they can find a larger warehouse to actually store all this. In fact, they're asking for monetary donations now. The outpouring of support from people here in Tennessee and from across the nation has been incredible. We've received so many goods and donated items, and right now we have really what we need. Um, if you want to make a financial donation to the American Red Cross, that's the best way to assist us. A financial donation to Red Cross Disaster Relief allows us to prepare for and respond to disasters like these Tennessee wildfires. Also, officials from the National Park told us that the rainfall that we had recently here in Gatlinburg was not enough to completely douse the fires. There's still some hot spots. We'll be monitoring it in the uh, coming days as we get to the weekend, Paula. Oh, Brandon, set the stage a little bit for me. That shelter, I mean, how are they accommodating people? Where are they sleeping? What are they doing with their pets? They are allowing pets here at this shelter. You know when they first started, when everything started Monday night to Tuesday, they had thousands of people here but thanks to the generosity of all the hotels in Pigeon Forge they said most of the hotels opened up at least some rooms to uh, some of the people that were here at the shelter so they have a, a place to shower a more comfortable location and it's been dwindling down to just a couple hundred so that's some really good news good all right thank you Brandon well again if you want to help the victims of the fire as Brandon has mentioned the American Red Cross says the best way to help now is to donate money